Welcome, pet lovers. It's a pet lovers reading. This um, doing it on the 13th of November. It's for the week, say mid-November time frame. 13th to the 21st, middle of uh, November. How you look at um, time? You know, it's fuzzy with tarot. I think because uh, this reading comes from our guides and angels, right? Your guides and angels and um, so it, I don't think they exist in, in the area um, where there's time. So I think it's always a lot to ask a spirit, you know, say, hey, this is just between the 5th and the 10th. This is what this is for, spirit, okay? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> so, <laughs> um, you know, I figured uh, animals have souls, and animals are definitely soulmates, and animals love, and we love animals, and it's love that binds us, so I know that. And so I know all those, and so I reason, you know, someone asked me as an astrologer, do you think animals have, you know, uh, charts and stuff? Well, they have souls, of course, but yeah, yeah, and particularly if you know the time, and if the best thing, I'm sure you can Google it, there, uh, there's even uh, just competent astrologers that have pets and understand something about astrology. I mean, I, it always blows their mind, you know, how much the, uh, the pets will follow their natal charts just as a school child and I think it could be personally I think it could be just as helpful to understand your pet's charts again as to understand your child to help uh, relate even better uh, if you're relating well maybe to take it higher uh, if there's any little bumps to smooth them out you know it could be used like that but this I just want to do is a heart read with uh, general for whoever resonates uh, this is for you and the pet that's on your mind, the pet that's in your heart. And it's exactly the same uh, spread that I do, the heart spread I came up with, my main one. And <clears throat> it's meant to read like a couple's energy. But mainly it reads who's on your mind. Right? But it's, I'm thinking of the lover. Now here's, I have, uh, and also you can find them on my site, but I put here the higher self. I can make those a regular thing too, like this one once a week, the higher self read. So we put the higher self here in the position that's normally where you would think of it like a lover. But with this reading, then, we put here your pet. And it becomes, again, like astrology. Um, pets typically are represented by the sixth house. But here, um, this is a beloved uh, pet, uh, so it's a seventh house energy. An animus anima figure uh, in terms of a uh, uh, pet now. <clears throat> and and pet can meet pets can meet 100% uh, of the requirements for emotional um, interaction for a relationship, you know. And arguably, you know, that's a uh, more than 50% of a relationship right there. So, excuse me. <clears throat> so I've already pre-shoveled. This is going to be your energy now. I'm using the Klimt Art Deck. It's a little strange. It's an Austrian dude. It's kind of a uh, uh, erotic art deck. Uh, not that bad, uh, but you know, he's different. It's very evocative. I have to look at it a minute sometimes. So, King of Wands energy. You know, um, wow. Um, I hope you can see that. Um, this is being uh, you now. Uh, being like s just someone in general because I'm going to do the same thing here this is just your energy but kind of think of it as your energy in and around pets and you're someone that's dominant that's outgoing that's fun uh, that's probably active um, dominant comes to mind and fun and kind of loud and active and I see you engaging with your pets in this way and so this is, I try to get an idea of what's going on with you. And then you could see if it's, you, if you're like, oh, that's nothing like me at all. And you know, okay. Oh, well, check out the Soul Family Read, would you? That's up on my site, a daily collective read, spirituality manifestation. But here, uh, I mean, it's really positive energy too. You're feeling really good with this energy and strong. Um, let's see what going, what your pet here is coming in temperance how about that i'm well, sagittarius uh, sun jupiter mercury mars myself and this is the sagittarius card very different card 
There's a clamped art deck here. <clears throat> and um, with that head and the sword and the head. These are very different uh, tempered. This is what I, it's a little, why it's so evocative for me. It's like I, I have a certain reading that I would go to when I see temperance, but with this one, man, uh, that brings in these layers here. Um, I get one thing. Uh, this pet, I think, uh, was is the uh, offspring of another pet. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, it's reading Sagittarius energy. But I think <clears throat> what's Im important about that, and temperance is kind of you could say submissive, so but strong in Sagittarius, but it's a balanced, stable. So this is not an animal that's hyper or uh, you know annoying or or disturbed or kind of emotionally disturbed in any way. This is a very balanced animal. It's all about balance, you know, temperance. Um, but I think it matches you as a king of wands like very well. So they would be pretty high energy here, just to be clear. They're fire, they're like Sagittarius energy, you know, here. <clears throat> You're coming in with fire energy. I mean, Aries, Mars, Sag, Aries, Mars, more. I mean, Aries or uh, Leo, more with you guys. But I like it. It's like it's like you're if if I'm looking at the personalities, your lovers. I'd say right off the bat, you're gonna really uh, meet each other well. Your energy's working well because we're looking at the sinistry. Now, uh, ten of cups. My God, I don't know how much you guys know about tarot, but the ten of cups is like a total emotional fulfillment, a happy family card, you could say. Um, it's you know I do a love and relationship channel uh, Dave Sky Tarot and <clears throat> you know most of my reads are love and relationship reads but it's own family read it's a more of the spirituality read but you know this is like everyone wants the Ten of Cups feeling and this is showing how you feel about them I mean you could not love this dog or cat or any pet that it is I should say I'm trying to be general with it here for you know uh, a general reading if it really resonates and if they'll draw it, they hit me up for a personal reading so <clears throat> that's obvious um, and maybe that's you know that's why you should now six of swords huh. so I think this could be they physically ran away, but I think it disturbed you probably. But you know, you've got this fire energy with them, okay? Now let me look at the bottom of the deck, cause uh, uh, oh, the three of pentacles, okay? Three of pentacles. That's uh, yeah, collaboration there, work, work and collaboration. You may take taking the dog to work, take the dog to work, the cat, the pet. <laughs> Uh, I've mostly been a dog person, but you know, uh, I, I understand it's all about the heart and what you know, what you connect with. But this is kind of like that uh, going to run away energy, you know. And I gotta imagine it, you know, it's not the it's not the kind of energy like you know, King of Wands is great with uh, Temperance, good, good. This this is kind of like you're really just and they're kind of, you know, literally just like come on, come on. And they come and then they kind of back off and they come. And um, um, I don't know, like an animal being like coy with you. Yeah, playing, playing with you like that. Now, wow, this is advice from spirit. I'm trying to decide if I want to ask for a clarification. Okay, now this is your uh, advice from spirit here, this uh, point for your animal, your pet. How best to interact with them? <clears throat> I have to look at their advice. It's complicated here, but give me some more to go on. The Sun card. You've got the Sun card and the Ten of Cups and an Eight card. Re what are you, Eight cards, you even at Six cards. You're two of the best cards in the deck right there. So... I, 
I keep getting the the passed on pets. I keep getting the passed on pets. I don't know. Look at this kind of. How does it make me cry? Ought to be the best card in the deck by many people. The most positive. Um. <clears throat> Because is this really advice from spirit for your animal or is it really for you? Even though really it's the point of advice and spirit from the animal. And this is all about letting go of something in your mind. I'll tell a story. I lost a dog many, many years ago. I had three dogs, two were on leash. One dog I had for a long time is a Bernese Mountain Dog. He's a very well trained dog bear. And so we were walking, and the only place where there was to walk was along a train track in the mountains, which you had fair notice for it ever came. And I got them down off the tracks, and we were on the edge of the woods, you know, a good ways away. And just as the train started to get close, Bear went up there. And I had the other two, and I'm like, Bear, no, Bear, come, Bear. At first, I'm like, Bear, no, come, Bear, come, Bear. And then he just keeps going up to the top of the track, and I and normally he's very obedient. And here, and I'm still not too worried because the train's not that close, but I'm kind of like, Bear, get back here, you know. Um, and I've got them, and I don't want to take them up there. And then finally, the train gets really close, and the dog is just, Bear is just on the tracks, and he won't get off. And it's very steep and rocky. And I just tell the other dogs to stay. The horse command will stay. And they usually behave. Just I don't take chances. I thought he was a lock. And it cut him right in half. I ran up. I, the guy, I could see the guy's face. And he's going, no, no. And I, in my mind, I'm going to grab him and flip over to the other side out of the last second, like on the TV or something. And as I got close, the train was, I just wasn't even close enough to even touch him. And it just sliced him in half like a hot knife through butter. And he died, literally, like, basically dying in my arms inside the track. And, you know, um, I was able to tell that kind of without crying and without for years and years and years. Whenever I would just think of it, it would be like like a PTSD would hit me. That's how it would kind of go. And that's how, you know, do you do do and that's a, I'm sorry, that's a, uh, I guess I'll put a warning in the readings. There's a, you know, I don't know, potentially triggery story that I tell, personal story. But was, I, I guess it's the worst thing. You know, I've lost my mom, and I don't know. It's kind of the worst thing that ever happened to me. And, and it's just, and Bear, you know, he's this amazing dog. You know, Bernie's Mountain Dogs are different. So our first dog, my, my ex-wife and I had, um, and you know, it was years and years and years. Or I'd think of that every day, for it didn't just trigger me all to hell. Um, and I, but I think this is like spirit wants to say your 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 pet is safe. I mean, not only safe. I mean, the sun. It's as good as it can get. You know think that's what that's saying it's just as good as it can get <laughs> think of it like that and now the queen of cups <laughs> I think this is meant this is the outcome of the heart spread hopefully you can see it taking shape here um, uh, forgive me I got a cancer moon so emotional but I might think of them like, sorry, bear. Sorry. Yeah. And, um, <sighs> Cancer Moon, this is speaking to you. Uh, I have a Cancer Moon. This is speaking to Cancer Energy, maybe somewhere in your chart uh, where you're nurturing. And, um, instead of being the king of wands, this is mosquitoes, I had to do that. <laughs> Um, King of Wands, um, now this uh, emotional queen has control of the emotions. Really, I think it's in the crux of the heart spread here. And um, this queen um, would uh, be able to uh, not 
be afraid to be vulnerable, not be afraid to go into her emotions. It's not male or female. It's just this uh, energy of the Queen of Cups. Um, it's um, uh, being a master of emotions, you know, uh, not you're not going to be swamped by your emotions. Um, and uh, this is in the position of your advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole, which I think I, I think it's like this very reading. They, they want to say, like, you know, understand that everything's so perfect. Everything's fine. Everything there's and they're OK. As much as that can help you, they're OK. And let that help you. And also there's a, a sense of like dr the advice is dropped down into your emotions with this. Go ahead. Maybe you don't normally drop down your emotions. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe coming in with this little fire. But let's see what the outcome is, guys. The Knight of Swords. So two things this could be. This could be this very message here. This message is coming at your Ten of Cups. Now, what's interesting about this, guys, is actually I'm going to freaking cry again. <laughs> Remember how I said, like, maybe physically, like, it's, it's almost funny. A dog would come to you and then run away, come to me without me thinking about bear. <sighs> and look, now, in the outcome, they're coming to you. Coming right back to that Ten of Cups that they ran away from. And I think this is some kind of message. It very well could be this reading. I might be getting a bit too big on myself. Um, but if, if not, it is. And then maybe also there's a dream. Uh, this is like a, something strong. This is a night. It's not like a page energy. There's something coming to you really strong. Um, I, my thought was too, maybe a, another uh, a pet comes to you. Like the way this one ran away. I cry again. The outcome is that now you get a pet that runs to you and doesn't run away. I mean, it was cute. Uh, and that's coming over this Queen of Cups. It's almost like saying with the Queen of Cups is when you're emotionally healed and ready for a new pet. And then this is the new pet coming in. Could be an air sign, little critter, <laughs> you know? could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius uh, pet. So thank you guys uh, for that. And give me a like, thumbs up, uh, do subscribe. If you can think of anywhere you might share this that might be appropriate. Uh, any pet loving uh, group that might be over the tarot readings. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll try to put a trigger warning on it about the story. Uh, and um, thank you though, I appreciate it.